So, on a Thursday, we did finally see the stock market start to show some weakness with indexes falling pretty much like 6% in the one day, which is a massive move. Now granted, Friday, the stock market was up again slightly. If we have a look at both the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, they did get weaker and weaker throughout the day though. So maybe we are seeing a little bit of selling pressure on the market here, a bit of weakness, hopefully. But the real question is, are we finally going to see the stock market crash that we've all been waiting and preparing for? Maybe. That's definitely a question for another video. Today in this video, I am going to go through five stocks I am prepared to buy or five stocks that I will buy if we do see the stock market crash again. Some of these stocks though, I don't own at all and I am really what I do already have positions in and I'm looking to build a bigger position. In this video guys, with these stocks, I'm going to tell you exactly what they are, exactly what they do as a business, and why I want to buy them, and where, at what price exactly I will buy them. So as always guys, just before we do get into the video, please smash the like button if you do like this video. My last NAT stock video did very well, so I do appreciate that. And as always, if you do like my videos, if you keep coming back and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm nearly at 200 subs, that's where I'm trying to get. Anyway, let's get into the video here. The first stock, numero uno, I will buy if the stock market does crash here again, is Google. Ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. Currently sitting at around about $1,412. I'm filming this one over the weekend here. And obviously Google, just a Goliath company that I'm really looking to get into, has an amazing balance sheet, arguably one of the best balance sheets in the world. And if you don't know what Google is, like you probably should, world's biggest search engine, they own YouTube, what you're currently watching this video on right now. The way they make their money is through online advertising. People pay their money to advertise on their platforms. Pretty simple, and they are pretty much the biggest or one of the biggest players in this space, it's either Google or Facebook if you're advertising online, you don't have any other option. But yeah, phenomenal company, great balance sheet there. And just really a stock that I would like to start a position in, I don't currently own them. Now, in terms of where I would buy Google, if it does drop under $1,200 a share, I would probably look at starting my position. If it does drop under $1,100, that's when I would be buying quite a large amount of Google stock. All right, second stock on the list would have to be Tesla. Ticker symbol TSLA was just recently trading above $1,000 a share for the very first time. Round of applause for that there. Uh, but now it's currently sitting at $935. And if we have a look at the one year chart here of Tesla stock, this was a stock that one year ago was trading in the low 200s. And now it's currently up at $900, which is just crazy. And what can I say about Tesla that hasn't already been said? They mainly make electric vehicles that are 10 times better than any other electric vehicles, leagues ahead of the competition. They have the battery side of their business. They have the solar roofing side of their business, which is underrated. They have the self-driving side of their business and potentially robo-taxis, which is another massive opportunity that they have in front of them. Semi-trucks as well, another massive opportunity. Just an amazing company. Just an awesome company with awesome ideas, a proven track record to implement those ideas, an awesome CEO, Elon Musk, that has a great track record of doing amazing things. What's not to love about Tesla stock? It's great. Now, I currently do already own Tesla shares at a pretty low cost basis in the 200s, so I'm massively up already, which does make me less inclined to buy some shares at a higher price here and ruin my beautiful average share price number. But if you do want to see my video where I do reveal my full portfolio, click up the top right of your screen there and we'll take you to that video, guys. But anyway, with Tesla, such a great company. If it does drop under 500 again, I would be willing to add a few more shares. 
And yeah, I would say it's a bit of a long shot if it is ever going under $500 again, but we have seen it, like I said, over the year be pretty volatile. It was at 200 at the start of the year, went up to 900, back down to around about 360 and then back up to 1000 again. So it is very volatile, so it's a possibility that we could see it drop under 500. And yeah, pretty much the massive opportunity here, how great the company is. If it goes under 500 again, I am looking to add a few more shares. Now, the third stock that I want to buy if the stock market does crash is Beyond Meat Stock. Ticker symbol BYND. Currently at like $144 a share, and we can see back in the initial drop early this year, the initial stock market crash, it did bottom out all the way down at like $54. And this is one where I am really kicking myself because I really like this company and I really wanted to start a position in this stock, but I did miss the opportunity there that presented itself, unfortunately. Hey, but it is what it is. If we miss out, we miss out. But if there is another opportunity that presents itself, if the stock market does crash again, I am looking to really start a position in this one because I really do like this company. Basically, Beyond Meat is a company that sells plant-based alternatives to meat products. They sell things that look like meat, that pretty much taste like meat, but they aren't made out of meat. They're made from plants. Things like the Beyond Burger, the Beyond Beef and Beyond Sausages. And right now in the stock market, this is pretty much your only play or your only opportunity to get into a company that works in this space, plant-based alternatives to meat products. There's no other real publicly traded company that's doing this thing. With that in mind, it is very overvalued because we have seen a bunch of investors jump into this stock to get onto that wave. But I think there is definitely a massive opportunity in this one as more and more people start to turn to plant-based alternatives instead of meat, start having less meat in their diet over time. So definitely a big opportunity here. And this company is a growth monster. It does have high levels of growth and it isn't actually loaded up on any bad debt really at all, which is great. Unlike most high growth companies that have quite a bit of debt, Beyond Meat has not a lot. Overall, it's just a great company that I really do want to start a position in, but I can't when the share price is up in the 140s. It's just too much. I think I would need Beyond Meat at like at least $85 or $90, $85, $90 before I even start my position. If we can get it under 70 again, I will buy a heap of this stock. And I'm talking massive because like I said, I did miss my not initial opportunity and I would love to buy this stock. The fourth stock that I am looking at buying is Skyworks Solutions. Ticker symbol SWKS is currently at around about $126 a share and back in the initial drop, this one was hit pretty hard. It was all the way down in the low 70s, high 60s. Now, Skyworks Solutions is a semiconductor company, so they do make small little parts in technology such as the technology that goes in cars, smartphones and tablets and things like that and they have pretty much all the big guys as companies they have guys like samsung apple toyota all the big guys they have as a customer of them and basically as 5g starts to get rolled out on a full scale over the next few years or so these guys do have a massive opportunity in front of them because these 5g devices they do need more semiconductors to function and more semiconductors to work. So definitely a bigger opportunity for Skyworks there than say 4G devices. So they do have a pretty big opportunity in front of them right now, that's for sure. For me here, I do already have a small position in Skyworks, my average price being in the 70s. But I do want to build it into a larger position and if it does go under $85 then I will probs be looking to buy some more. If it is under 80 though and I can get some shares at you know my average price that I already have, I will be looking to buy quite a bit again and I'm talking pretty heavy. And the last stock that I would be looking to buy here if the stock market does crash, stock number 5 is very last but not least, Facebook stock. Ticker symbol is just FB. Currently at around about $228 a share and it is honestly just my favourite company. I've talked about it plenty of times on this channel already so you should already know what it is. If you don't watch my channel and this is the first video then you should still already know what Facebook is. Like come on. They own the Facebook platform, the Messenger platform, Instagram, WhatsApp. Very dominant market share in social media platforms. 
And if you are going to advertise online, you're either going to Google or you're going to Facebook and you're giving those guys money. It's as simple as that. And it's just purely because Facebook has so much data on everyone. If you post your ad through them, they are going to get it targeted and shown in front of the right people's faces. There's just no doubt about it. Facebook just has so much data. It probably knows more about your ex than what you do. But anyway, like I said, it's my favorite company. It's already massive and it still does have it big growth ahead in the future, which is just crazy. It has been such an underdog with their little privacy scandal that they have had a few years back now, has it definitely put the selling pressure on Facebook and the stock kept pretty low. You know, big robo Zuck in court, trying to act like a human. Solid management team, one of the best management teams of any publicly traded company, one of the best balance sheets in the world and still has massive growth ahead of it you'd be stupid not to own Facebook stock. And in my opinion, if you had no shares in Facebook right now, I'd be buying it right now at 220. It's just an amazing company. But in my opinion, anything under $200 on Facebook is 100% a buy. I did buy more recently, uh, just a, oh, a few months ago now when it was still under 200. And if it is anything under 200, I'm adding more. It's a great company and one of my biggest positions already. Just very solid. But that's it guys, that is the five stocks that I am looking to buy in the stock market here if we do see another big crash. What are your opinions on these stocks that we've talked about here today? I would love to know. Please put them in the comments and I'll read them and I'll obviously respond to you with what I think about your comment. <laughs> And if you do have any other stocks that you'd be looking to buy, please put them in the comments also because I love having a look at new stocks that I haven't really had a look at before. And then I may actually be able to put them on my watch list because I'm like, hmm, that's actually a decent stock. I haven't heard about that one before. So please guys, comment them if you have them. But that is all I have for you guys here today. If you did enjoy the video, like I said, smash the like button, hit it and make it blue. Uh, click the circle here to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Check out the playlist and the video here. It will entertain you, I assure you, and that's all I have. You have a good one.